everyone, I'm Rena from Eva and Marina. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I bring to you my 2019 reading resolutions. Last year I had quite a few reading resolutions and I did meet some of those resolutions and other ones I kind of just forgot about. They kind of lost their importance. A prime example being my resolution to read more fairy tales. I'm pretty sure I read zero. Despite my getting this book right after I made that uh, resolutions video at the thrift store, a beautiful, beautiful book of fairy tales, I just and so this year I'm going to try and make it a little bit more flexible. First, let's start off with my Goodreads reading goals for 2019. And that is to read, my reading challenge is to read 24 books. Last year I aimed low, specifically so that I could beat my goal. I set it at 12 books, not a difficult feat, one book a month. But I did that on purpose so that reading would feel A, less like a chore, less like something I had to do, like a task, and more like something that I wanted to do, which it is, which, you know, that's how my brain works. And also, I had been in several reading slumps before that, prior to that, and the years prior to that. And I think it's because I set such a high goal. And so I ended up reading 20 books in 2018, and I'm so proud of myself. Now, looking back, I should have like made it 19 books, 19 for 2019, but I decided to aim high and go for 24 books. I can do it, especially since I'm falling in love with audiobooks. I literally can't walk my dog without listening to an audiobook. I love it so much. My second one is to reread The Song of Achilles. I had planned on doing this last year and I was audiobooking it because the narrator that does the audiobook on Audible is amazing. But I never ended up finishing it because I found another audiobook and then I was audiobooking that and it just never happened. But this year what I want to do is I want to reread The Song of Achilles and I want to annotate. And I've already started, I'm on chapter three, but I want to write little notes in the margins and put it in little sticky tabs and like try and dissect it because it's my favorite book and I want to I want to read between the lines more and I want to I want to see why it's my favorite book and like the Madeline Miller skill and stuff so that's reading resolution number two this is not something that I'm gonna do sort of like I'm just gonna sit and read this all over again I'm gonna make it stretch over the over the year or however long it takes for me to slowly read and annotate this book um, whenever I get the feels for Petricles I'm also planning on getting a Song of Achilles tattoo hopefully this year I want it on my leg beside my whale that I have there I love it so much I want it permanently on my body and at the moment, I only have two other goals that I want to achieve for 2019. One of them being a similar one from last year, or rather the same one from last year. It is to continue reading Canadian authors. There are some great books out there, but Canadian authors other than Margaret Atwood, and I discovered some last year. If you would like to hear about them, you can check out my 2018 reading wrap up, which I will link below. But I want to discover more this year and in different genres. Like the Canadian authors that I read this year were in completely different genres. I thought that was so much fun. So I'm going to do the same thing this year and possibly even add in some non-fiction. It doesn't have to be necessarily Canadian non-fiction, but I want to try. I said that last year I would read more non-fiction and I didn't. I don't think I read any. That brings me to my final reading resolution and that is to read more of the books that are on my shelf, to prioritize those books, which is similar again to what I said last year, but this time I'm ready for it more. So for example, one of the books on my shelf that I really want to read that is also non-fiction is Spying on Whales. And I bought this as a Christmas present for myself this year. Another non-fiction, you guys might have seen quite a few of these uh, on my Instagram because I posted about them. I have been dabbling in them, but I haven't read them in earnest, which is what I want to try and do this year. One of them being The Body in Pain by Elaine Scarry such a cool concept and I can't wait to read more of it. I haven't really read any of it. It is a commitment, um, so 
another nonfiction woman who run with the wolves you can see I've already started tackling it this one I'm not too concerned about sitting down and like reading the whole thing I'll treat it just like the song of Achilles and then I'll pick it up sometimes in the year and just read portions of it I'm really liking it so far I love the idea behind it so hopefully I'll continue with this one and there are two more non-fictions that I really really want to get into that is the Witches, um, Suspicion, Betrayal, and Hysteria in 1692 Salem by Stacey Sheaf. I started reading this a couple years ago or last year and I've been loving it, but I didn't pick it up again simply because I was so into the books I read last year. I was so immersed into every single one that I picked up that I just never, this was just not one that I picked up. So this was another one that I want to get to. And of course, my most beautiful nonfiction is The Written World, The Power of Stories to Shape People, History, and Civilization by Martin Puchner. The history nerd in me and the book lover in me come together and I just can't wait to read more of it. I don't know why I stopped. I was taking it everywhere, uh, but I did, but I hope to pick it up again. Um, I have seen the hardcover of this guy and I feel like once I finish it I want to treat myself and buy the hardcover because the inside of the hardcover is like to die for but it's like 40 bucks so maybe not those are my 2019 reading new year resolutions thank you so much for watching you guys let me know what your resolutions are down below how many books do you plan on reading this year or do you not set yourself reading goals let me know do you just flow with it you know go with it whatever you feel like um, I like a little bit of structure in life, uh, but I mean, honestly, I'm probably not going to read all of these nonfiction books, especially since last year I didn't read any, um, but I have a, quite an array to choose from and to set goals with, so it's looking good, it's looking positive. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys! You were a god in my eyes, above the clouds, above the skies, you were a god in my eyes. You were gone. It's very uneven. I probably read less than I have read. I read more. I probably haven't read. The books that I probably haven't read are probably. The books that I haven't read are probably more than the books that I have read in terms of my.